Hello YouTube and welcome to the comic book channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing my new release comic book pickups for the week of Wednesday, February 23rd, 2022. To get us started from indie publisher Black Tooth Comics is a new number one. This is Emo Girl number one. Uh, interesting cover and title there for that book. I uh, picked up two copies of that. And, you know, I actually um, read it. I went ahead and read it to see what it was about. And I don't see any reason why it's called Emo Girl. Other than it's like a girl going... I, I don't know. I can't give away any of the story. Anyway, she likes a band. But other than that, I don't see any uh, reason for the title. Either way, over to Source, po Source Point Press. Here's another new number one. This is In His Own Image number one. And I did pick up a pair of this as well. That's not my image, but it's someone's image. That one sounds kind of interesting. Almost kind of uh, made me think of I Breathe the Body that came out, I don't know, maybe three years ago at this point. Uh, here's a new number one from Behemoth. This one has, its schedule keeps getting pushed back, keeps getting pushed back. But it finally came out this week. This is Heavy Metal Drummer number one. Um, that's the regular cover there. And then we've also got this variant cover, which I believe is the D cover, but I'm not sure of the artist. Might be the same artist, I don't know, but it's got a cool yellow cover, and it looks crazy. From Advent Comics, here is another one, number one. This is Chamber of Terror number one, with a great big devil cover there. Really cool art on this one. Uh, from Scout Comics, a new number one this week. This is Distorted number one. Also from Scout Comics, we've got another new number one. King Jara or Jera, Hungry Like a Monster, issue number one. This is the B cover variant. Uh, that is a one in ten incentive. So kind of cool, big kaiju monster thing there. And speaking of monsters from Blood Moon Comics, here is Ice Canyon Monster number one. Sounds like a cool title. I'll be excited to read that one and check it out. Over to, I, I don't know what the name of this publisher is, Arcania? Ar Arcana? I don't know. I, I'm putting an N in it, but there's no N. I can't pronounce this publisher. It's that publisher. You guys know how to read, not me. This is The Killer Affairs of the State, issue number one. And over to Image Comics, here is issue number 10 of Two Moons with this creepy, creepy cover here. Really like the cover art on this one. Uh, this series has been really cool, but I'm super far behind. I think I'm only on like the fourth issue, so I really got to get caught up and get into that. Uh, another series that I'm a little behind on, because uh, we're at issue number 16 here, is Department of Truth. This is issue number 16. This is the regular cover. This is a really, really cool book, but I'm not going to lie. I think I fell off at about issue 9 and haven't picked back up since then. Um, due to an inconsistent release schedule or maybe just me being uh, forgetting stuff, I don't know. This is a really cool book. This is on issue 37, but I haven't read one in quite a while. This is monstrous. Really cool cover there. Sorry, it's got a bad glare on it, but it's just darkness and a pair of eyes. Some beautiful artwork in that book. Um, another great book that's out right now. This is issue number 19 of Philadelphia. And then I also picked up this cover as well. If you're not reading Philadelphia, you definitely, definitely should be. We've got a one-shot that has a couple of first appearances this week in the uh, Radiant Black universe. Here is Super Massive, issue number one. And that's the regular A cover. And then here is the 1 in 50 incentive cover as well. Another new number one this week. Here we have Step by Bloody Step from Image. 
I think I heard that that's a mostly silent issue. Um, I'm excited to check it out though, but not as excited as this. Yes, The Return of Saga. This is issue number 56. Not that this is ish The Return of Saga. I know issue 55 was last month, but I just meant I'm excited that Saga has returned, if that makes any sense. Issue number 56 here, Saga, the greatest book currently on the stands, in my opinion. Over to Image Comics, we finally, finally are going to figure out who Red X is. This is Teen Titans. This is issue number 12. Teen, sorry, Teen Titans Academy, issue number 12. This is the regular A cover, and we are going to find out some information on this issue. That's all I know. Looking forward to it. This is a great cover here for Black History Month. This is Action Comics 1040. And I really like this cover a lot. It's super good. Really nicely done. Um, this cover is great too. This is by Alex Gardner. Uh, this is Deathstroke Inc. Issue 6. And that's the 1 in 25 incentive cover. Beautiful cover art. But let's keep it back here so it stays in focus. We've got Catwoman issue 40, the B cover by Jenny Frizen. I didn't get that great 1 in 25 incentive for it um, like I did for the last issue. But those are starting to get a little pricey, so I'll stick with the B cover here. Frizen's always, always at the top of her game anytime she does anything, in my opinion. Here is issue number 5 of... DC Horror Presents Soul Plumber. This has been a great, cool uh, horror series at DC. Sad that it's ending at issue number six, but maybe they'll do a volume two or something. Um, but this is great. Super, super good. If you're not reading that, read it. All right, over to Marvel. We've got a great X-Gwen variant cover here for Silver Surfer Rebirth, issue number two. And then I also have the regular cover for the same book. Looks like a great 90s throwback cover there. Speaking of great covers, here is the variant for Phoenix Song Echo issue 5. Very nicely done. We've got, I don't know, four or five of these B covers for Strange Academy issue 16 here. Great first cover character spotlight cover it is nicely done that artist did a great job but i don't know who it was oh it's ryan stegman wow doesn't look like a ryan stegman cover but that looks like a signature so i'm gonna go with it you tell me is that ryan stegman signature um right there i can't show you oh yeah i can Right there. I think that's Ryan Stegman. Right? Just say yes. I'm sure it is. We're going to keep it moving and try not to knock over a bunch of comics. Here is the regular cover of Strange Academy 16. And then we have a whole bunch of covers for Ghost Rider, issue number one of this new volume of Ghost Rider. Here's the regular A cover. A really great typical Ghost Rider cover. We've got a Scotty Young cover, which is actually really good. Not always the biggest fan of Scotty Young because I feel like it gets a little overdone, but that one's good. Here is this cover, which must be, I don't know, maybe, maybe some kind of connecting cover. No, a wraparound. Okay, we'll show the back too. So there's the front. And the back. Cool cover there. It's got all of our Ghost Rider friends on it. I like this cover a lot. I don't know who the cover artist was. But it is super cool and probably one of my favorite covers of the week. We've got an X-Gwen variant for Ghost Rider also. And this variant. Here is also a Peach Momoko variant. 
And this is my last Ghost Rider here. Then we can keep it moving. Got Miles Mori Morales. <laughs> Miles Morales, Spider-Man. Issue 35, this is the X-Gwen variant. And the regular cover. Iron Man, issue number 17, with its X-Gwen variant. That is very nicely done. As well as this Sway Black History Month variant. like this one a lot. Both the Black History Month variants I picked up this week are very good. Uh, here is Miss Marvel Beyond the Limit, issue number three. Where I think we're going to find out some information in this issue as well, from what I hear. This has been a fun series. Anything with Camilla Khan is fun. I like her a lot. She's a really, really good uh, Marvel character. Here's Black Widow, issue number something. 14, maybe? I honestly don't know the issue number. I'm going to go with 14, but I don't know. Here's issue number two of Silk, and this is maybe Audrey Monk, but it's a really good cover, whoever did it. Then we got the Inhook Lee regular cover. We have the variant here for Elektra, Black, White, and Blood, issue number two. As well as the Incentive variant. You know, somewhere I have the regular cover because it was really good, but I don't know what I did with it. It's not in order here. Maybe I messed up and took them out of, of order. Yeah. I'll grab that. There's the regular cover. A beautiful regular cover. It's negative space, and I know we're getting kind of tired of the negative space variants, but that one looks really good. It's really nicely done. Here's second printing on Timeless, number one. Got that new Punisher logo on the cover there. What do you guys think about the new Punisher logo? You like it? You don't like it? Let me know. Here is the 1 in 25 incentive to Timeless 1 second printing. Wasn't able to score one of those 1 in 50s, but that's okay. I have a few of the regular uh, Miss Minutes covers from the first printing, so I'll just stick with that. Here is the variant for Ben Riley's Spider-Man issue number 2. Got a variant here for Carnage Forever issue number 1. I guess Mike Delgado, maybe? I think that's the name, but I don't know whose signature that is, so. And here is the regular cover for the same issue, which is really cool. I've got a pair of the Moon Knight 6 second printings here. Got Venom 3, second printing. Also got uh, this variant for Captain Marvel, issue 36. As well as the regular cover. A lot going on on that regular cover. Uh, here's Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 90. Got Shang-Chi, Sang uh, issue number nine. This is the X-Gwen variant. I almost really like this one, but something puts me off about it a little bit. But I'm collecting all of the X-Gwen variants that I can. Here is the regular cover. And last up for our new books this week, here is X-Deaths of Wolverine, issue number three, this is Inhuk Lee variant. And it's still cool. Got a couple of back issues in. Nothing earth shattering. Um, I was able to fill a hole in my uncanny X-Men run. So now all of the 200s, 300s, 400s, 500s are done. 
Um, this is issue 390. Have a couple of like odd books that I just can't find. But that's okay, I'll get them. Uh, I picked up a volume two, number one of Runaways. Runaways is such a great series. If you've not read it. Had another um, Amazing Spider-Man 88, 1 in 10 design incentive come in. Super late from Things from Another World. They just ship so far behind. Um, I also got another copy of Magnificent Miss Marvel 13 in. I pick these up anytime I get a chance, and I saw one for $2, so why not? I got a really cool Howard the Duck number one this week. Um, got that off a live sale. Pretty good condition here, um, so I'm stoked to have that one. Looks really nice. I got a copy of Hellstorm, uh, issue number six. Trying to flesh out that full run, so fill a couple of holes. Um, here is, I didn't take the little tag off the front, so I'll do that now. Uh, here is Foxfire, issue number one. Really, really cool cover there from uh, Malibu Comics. I grabbed a copy of Arrow, issue number two. Like I said, none of these are anything too big, just uh, some back ish issues I picked up from a little shop I was in earlier this week. Uh, here is issue number one of The Silencer, DC book that came out a few years ago. Uh, I grabbed, I always grab this. This is hard for me to fill out this full run. This is Dinosaurs, Dinosaurs for Hire. I guess this is the second volume here. But I pick up anything with dinosaurs on the cover. I don't care what it is. I grab it. This has dinosaurs shooting guns, so... Why the heck not? Um, and, you know, I had a, another book out, but I don't know where I put it now. It was a copy of Static, issue number one. There's that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, 124, cover A. Yeah, and I have no idea where I put that book, so that'll probably wrap it up then. I've lost a comic book. Who knows where? Maybe I'll find it one day. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you picked up this week. Let me know if I missed out on anything super awesome. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you.